Hello, and today, you guys, we are going to talk about a few different things, but first we're going to start off with locus of control and then go into some different mindsets. I'm super excited about this. It's going to be super fun, exciting, all of the things, so let's just dive right in. First, locus of control. Okay, first, um, let me move this out of the way so we can see a little better. Okay. What is locus of control? Um, This definition just reads, as environments around you change, you can either attribute success. um, I think that should say or, but the definition says and failure to things, I guess and or failure to things you have control over or to force influence, uh, force outside your influence. Um, So let me just talk a little bit more about what this means um, on this next slide if I can. Okay, yes, that's the right one. Um, So there's two kinds mostly of locus of control. We've got internal and external. And really quick with the internal um, is the much more important one and the one we're gonna focus on a lot. So let's go to external really quick. So external is where you blame others, um, maybe other people, maybe other things, you know, not really, um, you blame things for people for things that happen to you. Um, You put a lot of things up to luck and chance. You don't think effort is really going to help improve any situation um, or effort's really going to do anything to change the situation. You feel like helplessness uh, when challenged, you're not going to jump in and be excited to help or to try something new. You're going to think, I can't do this. I am helpless. Um, And you're going to learn how to be helpless as you do that because you're going to think, a lot of, I can't, I don't, I, it's not up to me. So you're gonna be very helpless. You're gonna think, you're gonna leave it up to other people to decide what happens to you. Um, So let's go, so that's one's not one we really wanna talk about because it's not really something we uh, want people to do. (laughs) Whereas if we take an internal um, perspective or locus of control, you take responsibility for things. You, you you want to try and be better. Um, you're not going to be influenced by other people and opinion. You're going to be, no, this is me. This is my choice. This is my decision. Um, you're going to work at your own pace and you're going to improve as you work at your own pace. Uh, you're going to feel strong sense of self-efficiency you're gonna when you do something really good you're gonna be really proud of yourself you're gonna be like that is the best thing I have ever done and you're gonna be confident when challenged you're gonna see something hard and you're gonna think yes this is gonna help me this is gonna be better I can help someone else and I can help myself because it's a challenge Um, with an internal locus of control you think a lot more of I can I will, I am, I can be better. Um, So really quick, we're gonna jump into this really quick. What locus of control do you think you'd want? Would you want an internal or an external? Um, Which one do you think would help you become a better person and learn more? Okay, so after you answered that question, I just wanna know, well, let's just talk a little bit more about that external view and how a lot of people see things with that external view, even though we did a little bit. Um, with that external locus of control or external outlook, whatever you want to say, um, you think, so I'm mean, just going to say you because this is what people with that would think is, I have little control, little to no control over what happens to me. Um, people rarely deserve what they get. Goals aren't going to improve, aren't going to help me improve. Life is a game of chance and luck. Individuals have influence over the events in my, of, of the world. Uh, they have little influence, sorry, not, they have little influence over events of the world. Uh, so this is kind of just saying what we already talked about a little bit, um, that there's an outlook or an uh, locus of control and then there's an external one. It's very passive um, where, where you think this is going to happen and there's nothing I can do. This is going to happen and I can't help it. Um, and and the one I want to talk a little bit more about is this where goals are, oh, sorry, where goals aren't going to help uh, help me improve. That's something that I think is really sad. Someone who thinks goals aren't going to help me improve um, because goals really do help. Um, when you put your mind to something and you commit 
you become so much better. And so when we talk about that really quick, uh, before we go in a little farther, um, how do you think someone with this outlook right here is going to do when they fail a test? What are they going to do? Uh, just there's no right or wrong answer. Just what, what do you think is going to happen? And here's that question for you. Okay, so with that internal view really quick, this is one that is super important and awesome. And I'm gonna move up here. Um, and so they think if you work hard, you can achieve anything, which is really cool. Just really think, think about that for a second. You can achieve anything if you work hard. That is amazing and it's so true. Um, they also think there's no such thing as fate or destiny, which, you know, I think this is up to an individual. Um, you can think there's fate or destiny, but but most people with that internal um, view don't really think of that. If you study hard and are well prepared, you can do well on exams or tests or whatever. So when I'm prepared, when I studied, when I know everything I'm going to know and I get into that test, I'm going to do better because I, I know what it is and it's going to be good. Uh, and they say luck has little to do with success, no matter uh, it mostly matters of de dedication and effort. So like luck isn't going to help me do a test. It's going to be if, if I study, I'm going to do well on tests. It doesn't matter if I'm lucky or not. Um, and in the long run, people tend to get what they deserve in life. So as as um, an internal when you have an internal locus of control, you think I can put in effort and I'm going to get something out of it. If I put in bad effort, I'm going to get something bad out of it. If I put in good effort, I'm going to get something good out of it. I don't know if that really makes sense, but um, that just basically means that as you try to do good, good's going to come to you. And if you try to do bad, bad's going to come to you. And with an internal view or locus of control, you're going to you're gonna see a lot more um, things come of your efforts and that goals and and things like that are really going to help you uh, become a better person. Uh, click on that. Okay, so now that we talked about that for a second, how do you think someone with an internal view would react to failing a test? Uh, that's just kind of something to think about. Write it down for me so we can see what it is. But but what? how do you think they're going to react to failing a test? Okay, so really quick, we're just going to sum everything up. Um, and the big concept being active versus passive, having a external versus internal view. And, and as I put right here, it says, stop being passive and start being active. I think that's the big concept between these things is that you need to stop being active and start being passive. And I just want to know what's, a, what's some ways that you can stop being passive and start being active and start becoming, um, taking control um, your locus of control and being get, taking taking responsibility and, and creating your own self identity from that. Um, and I'm just going to say this really quick. Um, rather than viewing yourself as simply a passive bystander who's caught up in the flow of life, think about actions you can take that will have an impact on the outcome. Uh, have an impact on the outcome. So stop thinking about all of the things that that are happening around you and start thinking about all of the things that you can do to benefit that the outcome around you. So that's really the big idea with um, locus of control is, is becoming the person that you want to be and, and who you think you can be by putting in effort and setting goals and challenging yourself instead of just thinking, oh, someone's going to decide for me or thinking this just happens because it happens. Um, so that's really the big idea with, with locus of control and the two different kinds of locus of control. Um, let's move on now to mindsets. Um, there are, uh, first, let's just talk about the definition of mindsets before I get all diving into everything else. Um, so the, the different mindsets, I mean, mindset is a person's, um, usual attitude or mental state is his or her mindset. Um, so this kind of just means that the way you're going to approach something or the way you're going to act towards someone or stuff like that is your mindset. And, and um, there's three different kinds of mindsets I want to talk about. We've got first fixed mindset, whereas a fixed mindset, people dread failure, the feeling of uh, 
it reflects badly upon themselves as an individual. So it's kind of taking that locus of control and that external locus of control and viewing life like that. But then when something bad happens, you blame yourself and you shame yourself, which is really harmful and really hurtful to everyone to shame yourself. Um, and they, they think that once something bad happens, they can't do anything to change it. Um, and then we've got the growth mindset where a growth mindset people embrace failure as an opportunity to learn and improve their ability. So they take that and they think, oh, dang, that's kind of that's kind of not the best that I failed that test or or um, this bad thing happened to me. But but they look at it for a second and, and they're sad maybe for a little bit, but then they see it and they go, well, how can I change and how can I become better because of that? Um, and that's a growth mindset person. And then an innovative mindset is just taking it a step further. Um, innovative mindset people have forward thinking, they're creative, they're open to test taking, um, testing, making mistakes and trying again. So these three different mindsets I think are really important um, to know about. And I think the last two are really important to apply to yourself every single day and in every single way. <laughs> um, but that fixed mindset, I think that's something to to look at, to to acknowledge, and to and to um, look to see when you have that mindset. But but try and switch it to that growth and innovative mindset. And I want to talk about this really quick. Um, when I was learning about these three mindsets, there's this this little um, I don't know who brought it up to me. Definitely, I didn't think of it, but I love it. Um, there's this little clip that I want to watch really quick. I'm going to go a little farther forward. I hope you can hear it. Here, we'll turn the captions on. So go right here. So that's just a little clip. I hope you could hear it. Um, if not, I really encourage you to go look it up. Um, it's just Meet the Robinsons. You could just search Meet the Robinsons. You failed. Um, it's amazing to think like that. Uh, a lot of people would think, dang it, I failed. I can't do anything better. Whereas they, you hear him, you hear him say, you failed and you think he's going to be have this stern look on his face, but he's smiling so big. He's so happy he failed. He's thinking, yay, you failed. Let's try again. Let's learn. Let's become better. And I think that's a really important thing to think about. And I think um, a lot of people don't see that that failure is a good thing. So what's a few ways that you've seen failure as a good thing? Yeah, I think failure is something that is so... So put negatively that people don't want to think about it anymore. Um, I think something that we should really try and change is is that failure is a good thing. It's a great thing. We are so glad when you failed. I, I feel like this little song that keep moving forward is something that I feel like every school should should teach and, and we should all learn about. Sorry. Um, but that's just an amazing little thing. And that's really all I have for today. Um, I hope you've learned something new with me. I hope you've taken a different outlook on, on, um, on, on what's happened in your life and, and you applied that, um, sorry, that internal locus of control and the growth mindset and the, and the innovative mindset. Just try and be better and be the best person you can be. And I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun, just as much fun as I did. And, Thanks for watching.